Hey, while I'm in this area, I want to show you guys the saddest abandoned building in the history of the earth. I'm getting sad even as we approach. It's right in front of me. My heart is crying. Here it is. This douche just pulled in and almost hit me. Pay no mind to the guy with the camera trying to get a shot. Some people are just ignorant, you know? I mean, I'm standing right there trying to take a picture. The guy comes flying in right into the parking spot that I am standing in. What a dick. I used to pull right through here and order my sliders and chicken rings, the big 30 pack boxes, the Crave case of sliders. Mmm, they were good. You know, it's funny because even the abandoned trash area is interesting to me. I don't see a lock on this building and honestly I'm so tempted, but this is such a busy area. There's probably be a cop here in a split second. I couldn't resist, I tried, but the door was nailed shut on the bottom. <laughs> And that's how it was for many, many years. But now, it's all over. No more White Castle. And I'm absolutely bummed. I used to come out here any time of the day or night. And two o'clock in the morning, I'd be sitting there and I'd be like, you know what, I want White Castle. And I'd hit the road. Which is partially how I got so big and fat. <laughs> Okay, so I've been wanting to come over here for a little while now and check this place out. There used to be an abandoned Kmart here. Right now, I am at my very favorite abandoned Kmart. And they shut it down when they built a Walmart across the way. Because you know how it is. Walmart moves in and everything else has to move out pretty much. Um, I'm going to spin around here slow so you can see everything behind me. This is the whole abandoned parking lot here. They've already knocked down... The, uh, the Walmart a little while ago here and I mean you can still see like the concrete dividers and stuff where the parking was I was gonna skate over here but as you can see there's all this overgrown grass and uh, I just I have to see what the footprint of the store looks like over here they have this whole place blocked off so you know, there's a chance a cop will be coming through here to get me out. <laughs> but I just have to see what it looks like over here. I'm so curious. You know, I've told you before I love these abandoned places. And uh, let's just go see what this looks like. It's a good, good day. So right now I'm walking in what would have been like the front doors of this Walmart. You can still see tiles here. Or I mean, I'm calling it a Walmart, but it's a, it's a Super Kmart is what it was. And this is just, this is amazing to me. This is where the entire building used to stand. It, it would look totally different to you if you were here, but the last time I was here, this Kmart was here.
Now the one place that I'm really curious about is in the back where they had like the the deliveries and everything because it dips down where the trucks would pull in to deliver things. So curious. I kind of feel like they probably filled them up with something so nobody could get back here and fall and get hurt, but you never know. Let's go check it out. Last time I was here, well, not the last time, but one time I pulled over here in the winter and both of the bays were completely filled with water and completely iced over. It was nuts. Okay, yeah, it's exactly how I expected. These parts back here where the trucks used to pull in to deliver, they're all filled with rocks. And where I'm standing used to be the inside of the store where they would accept deliveries. And over here, that's filled with rocks too. I know how well you can see that, but you've got to see this view from the back of the store here where, you know, just a few months ago, if you were standing back here, there would be a giant Super Kmart in front of your eyes. But standing back here now, I'm going to show you what this looks like. This looks awesome. That just looks so cool to me back there. And I know a lot of you probably don't understand this obsession, but uh, but there are a lot of people who love these abandoned places and it's just, it's really weird. It's just like a ghost town when this stuff doesn't exist there anymore because it feels like the people and the building is still here, but it's like hidden or something. It's really strange. I wish I had time to do a time lapse with these clouds back here. I don't know how well you can see those, but. Um, but my girlfriend's actually waiting over here in the car. She thinks I'm crazy because I always want to come over here. Part right behind me here, where you can still see all these tiles, I believe that's where the bathrooms used to be. I can't help it. I just found this piece of wrought iron and I can't help but throw it. Well, that may have hit a bag boy. Okay, here's a little story about this area. One time I pulled over and I was parked about right over there and I was eating some Taco Bell. And out of nowhere, I hear like this groaning and grunting. And I'm like, oh crap. Because you see how all these trees are overgrown. It sounded like it was coming from that area. And I'm like, oh my God, am I gonna be one of those people who pulls over at the abandoned building and finds somebody who just got like beat and raped or whatever, like hidden in these bushes. Turned out it was some drunk guy puking his brains out. I kind of had a long history with this area, and the last time I remember shopping at that Kmart before it shut down, I actually bought a Kenny G cassette tape. Um, <laughs> when I was a little kid, my parents used to take us out to these hotels every once in a while, just to kind of get out of town for a little bit and get a break and away from the house. And there's a little hotel back there that we used to stay at all the time. At the time, it was called the Delphian Inn. and. We would stay there and we would go over to that Kmart to buy little G.I. Joes and toys like that to play with in the pool. I'm passing a Joe Dirt Fair. <laughs> One of these traveling fairs that stops in the middle of these towns that nobody really ever wants to go to. You can see the Joe Dirt Fair over there across the parking lot.